Why do men have nipples? It's confusing because they don't actually serve a purpose, so why are they there? Well, all embryos start off as female in the womb until testosterone kicks in. But testosterone production only begins at 8 weeks and then reaches its peak at 10 to 15 weeks. But before this happens, the nipples are already made, so they're there to stay. That's why. Weird medical facts. Celery has negative calories. It takes more energy and calories to eat one piece of celery than the total amount of calories one celery contains. There's a bacteria that lives inside hairspray. Microbacterium hatanosis was discovered in 2008 after scientists isolated the properties of hairspray. <sighs> Chili peppers are not spicy. The burning sensation in your mouth is a mental one, not a physical one. Chili peppers contain a chemical called capsaicin. Capsaicin binds the pain receptors in our nerves. So I'm gonna show you this really cool trick that I just learned in my psychology class. So our eyes have this blind spot, like there's literally a gap in our vision. But our brains are like really intelligent, so they just kind of fill in the gap of everything around. It. Close your right eye and then focus on the dot on the right. Now slowly bring the phone toward your face and the cross on the left should disappear. Like and comment, let me know if this worked. What are blue balls? Blue balls happens when a man remains aroused without doing the deed, leading to a temporary buildup of blood in the testicles. The medical term for this is epididymal hypertension. Men with blue balls may experience heaviness, pain and aches in their crown jewels. Sexual arousal causes the artery that carries blood to the genitals to expand, thereby increasing blood flow here. And the veins that usually take blood away from the genitals restrict, thereby trapping blood there and causing an erection. After doing the deed, the blood vessels return to the normal size. But prolonged arousal causes blood to be trapped in this area for a long time, causing a congestion of blood which causes the pain. Ada kau mahu tahu tak flamingo sebenarnya waktu kecil dia taklah warna pink. Ini adalah anak flamingo waktu baru-baru menetas tu. Si, nampak tak warna dia macam kelabu je. And flamingo pun sebenarnya dia warna putih, tapi sebab dia makan banyak sangat brine shrimp. Ini rupanya dia macam udang-udang kecil lah Udang yang buat macam cencalok macam tu lah Tapi kita tak buat cencalok lah Dia ada dekat wetland selalunya Dia orang makan banyak sangat lah Lalasnya sampai dia orang ikut warna ni <laughs> ah, Bayang kalau orang makan McD banyak sangat lah Lawak jadi warna merah Tapi sebenarnya manusia pun boleh tukar warna Manusia yang terlampau banyak makan carrot More like 10 carrot per day Dia akan dapat warna yang macam seakan-akan orange sikit <laughs> Bukan semua makanan tau Jangan kau, kau rasa macam nak jadi putih lah Minum soya banyak lah Tak, tak semua makanan boleh tukarkan warna kulit kita okay? Tapi kita boleh tukar warna kulit Jadi macam flamingo juga So the aquarium saves all their dead fish for me So every couple of months I go over and I pick them up They look like this And then I use a chemical process to turn the bodies clear And when they're done, they look like this Nobody else sitting in like that Before I die, I'm trying to fuck you, baby Hopefully we don't have no babies I don't even want to go back home Humans are the only animal with chins. Other critters have jaw bones that form the bottom of their faces, but no other animals have this little pointy bit and neither do any of our extinct relatives. So we just need to figure out why. And people have come up with all sorts of intriguing hypotheses. Maybe it helps us talk. Maybe it helps us bite harder. My personal favorite, it's all about looks because you know, this is gonna definitely attract a mate.
Right. The thing is, none of these have held up to scientific scrutiny. So now, scientists think the chin may be what's called a spandrel. A trait with no inherent benefit that just appeared as a side effect of something else. Now, we just have to figure out what that something else is. And that, as they say, it's gonna be a, be a real chin stroker. Maybe it's just for this. Most people worry about the orca being the killer because he's a killer whale. Actually, he's the sperm whale that you've got to look out for. No apologies for what looks like toys. They're not toys. Blue whale, the right whale, killer whale, humpback whale, and Moby Dick. What a lot of people don't know about Moby Dick, he can actually send signals from his head forward to uh, other animals and kill them or stun them. And uh, in later videos, we're going to tell you more about these. But the fascinating thing about these whales that you're looking at now, they're no different than us. They breathe air, they've got lungs, and they live in the sea for all of their life.